Hey guys, it's Ninja Nanas. Um, I'm back doing the third tower, the Sky Spire, floor 27. And um, I already know what team I'm going to use for this particular floor, but I'm going to show you a few ideas just in case you don't happen to have this, the, um, the exact deck that I'll be using. Um, okay, so what you're going to need for this is fire, technological, creature, ancient, and honored. So we'll start with honored. <clears throat> Actually, we'll start with technological because it's already there. Um, she's a one turn. She makes three power gems. And if onslaught is active, she makes three power gem ones. I don't have the whole deck. Um, I actually only have her right there that goes with, with the deck. So I'm not going to be using technological. Um, let me just look real quick here. I mean, if you needed, um, tech increased by 10 every turn, you could use her right here. Lepora, Virtuous Defender. Um, you could just throw her at the end if your cards did rely on um, building technological um, intensity. So she's, um, I keep her for that because you never know. Um, next is Honored. Just got to pull down that every once in a while because I've been cutting off my videos. <laughs> or not had any audio or any crazy thing like that. So fire honored, um, I won't be using any of them. Um, this is again, part of a deck, um, four power gem ones. And uh, while jaunted, this is doubled, but I don't have the full deck. And I believe that he is the one that, um, he starts the jaunted effect but again, it's only two of them. So, um, and then I have this guy down here who I have used in the spire before creates one fire gem, both now and for the next two turns plus one additional per 20 honored intensity rounded down. Um, he generates five honored intensity per turn. Um, this is a good card to use when you're facing the scary Aegis or the terror Aegis, which you happen to be doing on this floor. It is the scary Aegis and I hate it. Scary and terror are the worst too. Um, the other ones are pretty much a breeze unless the health is super duper high. I don't like that much either. Um, okay, so I won't be using any honored. Then we have, um, ancient. And I usually you um, make a deck out of ancient when I can. Um, I'll just maybe throw this in here. I usually stick her as the leader, and then mostly all gem destroying um, cards. So I use this guy. He destroys ten non fire gems plus three additional gems for every twenty intensity. 20 ancient intensity and he generates five ancient intensity per turn so by the time you get like halfway through your 20 turns he's pretty much you know he's got you covered for destroying you know a decent amount of gems um and then i would throw him in two of him he destroys all non-fire gems and attacks for 1100 and he's a three turn cooldown um, and then I think it's her I stick in there. Yeah. Create one power, uh, oh my goodness, create one firepower gem one plus one additional um, for every five fire gems on the board. So what I would do with her is stick her at the very end because the amount of gems she makes depends on the amount of gems the prior four cards have already provided. So that's, um, that's kind of, uh, I usually either put them in order of cooldown turns so I can remember. That's just my own like little personal thing. I don't know if anybody else does that. I have no idea, but I do. And um, also with this, sticking her at the end because of her reliance on 
the previous cards and how many gems they make, you know, stick in her um, at the end makes perfect sense. So, um, and last but not late, uh, least, I'm having some trouble talking tonight. Let me get a little, little bit of juice. Give me one sec. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, and last but not least is Creature. And this is the deck I'm going to use. Um, this is one of my favorite decks. It hits hard. It's a four turn uh, cooldown, but when it when it does its battle skills, it's it it's pretty badass. Excuse my language. Um, so we're gonna go and find where they are. Now, um, like I said, this is the scary Aegis, which means that um, at the end of every turn, um, random skill meters will be reduced to zero. I've also noted, and with the Terror Aegis, it's every single skill meter is reduced to zero. But I've also noticed with the scary Aegis that it seems that it, it does the same thing as the Terror Aegis. So that all of them are emptied out. But then you have to keep in mind that you want to um, also have enough gems to power up, uh, to re-power up the cards. Because once, say, one card gets all of its skills stripped of it, then say it's a nine, it takes nine gems and it's a three turn cooldown. Over those three turns, or even over one, it doesn't really matter how many, um, you want to build, uh, build up enough gems to get it to activate its battle skill again. And um, I lost my train of thought for a second there. But uh, that can be hard because with the scary Aegis, you're trying to avoid making matches of the, the affinity that's called for. Like for this, it's fire. You're going to want to try to make gem matches of every other color but fire so that when you're ready to, um, you can hit the boss just like once and really hard. I have a feeling that I'm going to take this boss out in one hit um, because this is a pretty powerful deck. So... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it, and um, I apologize if it's just going to be like a brief, it might be, you know, it might take me a couple turns, I don't know, but I have a feeling it's just going to take one, um, so let's get going. So I just want to double check one thing, the relics are already in there, so um, um, like this relic this one and this one go with this particular deck. And then I have technological in there, you know, and a couple others. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I have said in some of my other videos that I don't read what's on the relics or what type they call for. I usually just stick them in there. But um, I'm starting to realize that's pretty stupid. Um, you will look for the relics that go with who, whatever type is on your team. You have ancient on your team. Get a try to find a relic that is specifically made for ancient. You have a creature on your team, a relic that is specifically for creature. Um, I won't be making that mistake again uh, going forward. So. Um, that's all. I just wanted to throw that in real quick. This video is getting long enough. I'm sure you're, you're over hearing me talk. So, um, let's get to the right team. And here we go. Um, also, before I go on... Um, the boss's attack is 5,152. Um, her HP is 61,807,201. And her um, defense is 773,080. 
So um, it's a relatively low, um, it, it's relatively low um, health. So that's why I'm thinking I could probably take this out in, in one hit, possibly two. So we'll just go ahead and start. Okay, and there is the Aegis, randomly empty skill meters at the end of every turn, not counterable, none of them ever are. Um, so let's see if this will just take her out in one shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. So um, I'm sorry there wasn't, um, a big battle on your hands but when it comes to the scary ages just try not to make matches of the affinity that it's is being called for like in this case it was fire try to avoid making fire matches um passive gems are really if you can find cards with um passives that's great because you don't even have to worry about their battle skill they'll just automatically make the gems on their own and then um you'll get to the point where it's time to go ahead and um, make the matches. And usually by that time you've built up enough um, intensity or um, and whatnot to really just wail on the boss once and be done with it. Um, like I said, this health was pretty low, so it was, it was pretty easy. Um, so that's all I have for now. I hope I was of some help. Um, and I will be back with floor 28 shortly. And I hope everyone's enjoying their night. And I'm actually enjoying the event this time around. So um, I hope everyone else is too, as much as you can. And um, I'll see you next time for the next floor. Bye-bye.